Hey team, Patrick here, following on from a video I made previously on our ball recognition and sequencing. In today's lesson, I want to talk about the fundamentals of our preparation, including our setup and footwork patterns that are going to allow us to achieve a good contact on our ground strokes time after time. So this might not be the flashiest video I make on this channel, but it might be one of the most important and offer some of the most meaningful improvements to all players, but especially the level of players that watch my videos. These are also the fundamentals we should all be trying to achieve, regardless of our own ability or style. So let's get into it. So why is the preparation so important? Well, so many of the mistakes I see made by recreational tennis players can be traced back to something that happened earlier in their stroke, either with their ball recognition or their setup or their footwork. And we're not going to be able to work on areas like our follow through if we're not in the right position to begin with as it's such a reaction to what has happened before now we've covered follow through elements in other videos and it's certainly something that i discuss with my students as it can help with other aspects of our technique but ultimately the ball has already gone by this stage and there might be more important areas to focus on like the topics in this video that will improve our ball to hand coordination and our timing so we first want to establish a good ready position which for most of us means getting a little bit lower and a little bit wider and we can use our racket as a guide for the width of our stance we want our, the pressure to be on the balls of our feet with our heels off the ground where we've got this bounce we don't want to be too static in our ready position and it's this bounce which becomes our split step as our opponent hits the ball so this can be really helpful for beginners to give them the idea of the split step. So it's bounce, bounce, unit turn. And I want to get set up in this position, which is going to include some of my own stylistic elements, but also the fundamentals of the grip, my body turned to the side, my strings facing to the side, and the head of my racket above my hand, above the grip level whether I'm playing either a forehand or a backhand. Now I can employ the proper movement patterns to the ball and we'll talk through more advanced footwork and stances in a future video, but it's going to be the basics of I'm going to run to the ball directly to the ball in the most natural way with my racket set to the side. So I can cut the ball off and run forwards. I can move to the side or I can move on a diagonal line and run backwards if I need to get back behind the ball here. We're going to want to avoid either taking what I call a detour where we move like the, uh, the night piece in chess or running for example directly backwards which is what i call the most dangerous way to move in tennis where we're going to be off balance and never set up properly for the hit or sidestepping out of our ready position which is going to be too slow and we're going to get out of sync with the ball And we're going to want to keep moving all the way. That doesn't mean we're always going to get closer 
to the ball, but it means we're adjusting all the way. We're on the balls of our feet. We've got these little adjustment steps where I can fine tune my positioning. I don't want to plant my feet too early because I want to arrive at the ball and find this proper spacing where I'm not too close and I'm not too far away. You will feel if you're the correct distance away from the ball as it should be a very natural, a comfortable range of motion from your body, not too close, not too far away. It's like you're, uh, you're shaking hands with the, with the ball and you can use your left hand on the forehand to help you with this spacing. It's like I'm gonna go and catch the ball with my left hand here. We're also going to want a contact point that is out in front of our body. So we're going to want to make sure we stay behind the ball, but also we rotate our body into the contact. I feel most players are aware they need a contact point that's in front, but they don't turn their body and they just use their arm. And it's very difficult to have the contact in front because your body is in the way. So I need to rotate my body into the contact so I have this strong contact with the racket out in front of me here. This balance and posture that we establish in our ready position, we want to try and keep this throughout our movement as we're going to be better on balance and it's going to be easier to execute the stroke. So I want to visualize this contact point and just practice finding this same position over and over again until it becomes automatic. Right guys, this is how we're actually going to improve and get to the next level, just by doing the fundamentals better. The consistent contact is going to be the most important element as the ball is only on our strings for a fraction of a second. And once we have this timing down, well, then we can work on more other sort of intricate aspects of our technique. But I hope this video has helped. If it has, please leave it a like and a, uh, and a comment and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you on court in the next one. Cheers, guys.